Over the past decade, and particularly in the last few years, uh, around the world we've been experiencing very intense extremes in terms of uh, the weather and climate conditions. Droughts, heat waves, floods, wildfires. We know that these are increasing in frequency and intensity. Uh, we also know that uh, global warming is happening. So we've seen a huge increase in uh, the science around event attribution, uh, the scientific community's ability to test hypotheses about global warming and individual heat waves or individual droughts or floods uh, has really increased in the last 10 to 15 years. By their very nature, these individual events are difficult to verify. So what this study does, it says, what if we look at all of the events that happened, say, over the last decade. How well do our predictions match up with what actually happened? So we were on record already saying, this is what we think in the current climate, the likelihood of record hot events, record wet events, record dry events should be around the world. So we can look back at the last decade plus and ask how well does what actually happened in the real world match up with uh, those predictions that we had on record. The traditional approach to asking about the current probabilities has been to look back at that whole historical record because that's the most reliable measure of climate change that we have. The problem is that the climate change has been so steep in so many areas of the world that uh, we now have a false sense of uh, the odds of record-breaking hot events and wet events if we only rely on those observations. We find that for record hot events and record wet events, our framework uh, is actually too conservative. Global warming is actually causing a more rapid intensification of uh, heat waves and, and heavy rainfall events uh, than what we would expect just looking at the historical trends. So what this means is that going forward, the risks are actually higher than what we would infer just from the historical trends. You have to find ways to incorporate both the historical observations and climate model projections of the future. The odds of record-setting events uh, really, really matter. Uh, we gotta get those numbers right in order to have uh, resilient systems.